Hello and welcome to EV Motoring. I'm Joe and today we have a quick video with the Tesla Model 3 standard range rear wheel drive. So this hopefully should just be a real quick video doing some testing slash hopefully debunking a myth. A common myth I always run across is when you see these big crashes out on freeways during the uh, during the winter, you know, and people are stranded for hours on end. People think, wow, if you had an electric car, you would run out of electricity and be stranded there. Well, my thought here is since I'm about to go on a Tesla road trip, I want to do some testing. I, I might be car camping in the Tesla. So I want to see what, uh, what kind of energy usage it is using the camp mode. So right now it's like four degrees right now. And I think, let me see, it's actually two degrees right now, getting down to slightly below zero overnight. So right now it's just after 11.30, it's 11.32. I have the car charged up to 70%. It just ticked down to 69% while I've been messing around trying to get this set up. So I should have this started in the next couple of minutes. We'll, we'll check what time we started at. And the plan will be to run it for about seven hours, seven to eight hours. Don't know which time, how much time it'll be, but basically it's to simulate a couple things. One, if you're sleeping in your car overnight, how much energy does the car use? And two, if you were to get stranded because of uh, an accident or something, and you had to just sit in the car and run the run the heater, how much energy would it use just sitting there sitting still? So we'll hop in the car. I'll show you uh, the state of charge, which is 69%. Show you how to enable camp mode and get everything set up. All right, let's hop in the Tesla and see what's what. Extremely simple to set up camp mode. You just touch your temperature down here. I have it set at 72 degrees. That's what I've used for my range test, so I figured I'll just try to be consistent with that. And then right over here, you have the modes. There's the keep, which is just keeping the heater on for a little bit. There's dog mode, which is self-explanatory if you leave your pet in your car. What's nice about that is it puts a, a big logo on the screen so people from the outside know that your pet is being kept at safe temperatures. But right here, we're gonna go ahead and press camp mode. It says the car will stay on until the battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode and walk away alarm will be disabled for tonight. And that's pretty much it. So camp mode enabled. It is 1134, 69%. And go to the energy here and see all this data that since we Last charged, let's use 0.4%. We'll, we'll track all the data of what it does to use the power tomorrow uh, when we check back in tomorrow morning. And hopefully not too much. So that means it'll work well for my trip. So just initiated that. I'm gonna go in, go to sleep, and uh, we'll check in in seven or eight hours tomorrow morning and see how much energy it used. Like I said, hopefully not too much, so that will bode well for my trip. But yeah, pretty simple. Just, uh, you know, set up your bed or however you want to sleep in the car, turn on camp mode, and you can stay comfortable all night long. Good morning. It has been nine hours. So I want you to guess, comment down below with your guess. We started with 69%. Go ahead and guess what you think it'll be at. I haven't cheated yet either. I know the car is still running, so that's a hint that it's above 20%. But let's uh, hop inside and see how it did all night. So the screen has a little camp mode thing, so we'll tap to dismiss that. Still set at 72 degrees in camp mode, as we showed last night. And now let's see the consumption. 34% consumed, leaving us at 35%. Let's see, it's attributing 33.5% to the touchscreen. That's obviously wrong, that must be that must be actually for the climate control. Let's see if we can find some better data. So I wish there was a little line item right here that would have said how much the climate specifically used, but obviously we can assume pretty much everything was the climate since that's all it was doing. Obviously we, we can assume that almost everything was climate since that's all it was doing all night is keeping the car at a roasty toasty 72 degrees. My water here is actually room temperature, so I know it's done its job. So it's time for me to go to work, which means it's time for me to wrap up this quick little video to show you uh, how the car did in camp mode overnight. So 
I guess also comment down below, is this myth debunked or is it true? Is it more or less energy used than you thought? So there you have it, 34% consumed. I just did some quick math on 55 kilowatt hours of usable battery. That comes out to just over 18 kilowatt hours used to run the battery for nine hours, keeping the car at 72 degrees in low single digit weather. Most of the night it was one or two degrees. It just started warming up about an hour ago. So now it's now it's actually uh, nine degrees outside, but um, it was one to two degrees all night, as you'll see again right here. And so that it comes out to just over, it's 2.07 kilowatt hours per hour used to keep the cabin warm. I don't think that's so bad. For me, If I, when I'm on my trip, I'm probably only gonna sleep for six or seven hours. So that means I'm looking at using around 15-ish. So I don't know, I don't think that's too bad. I'm gonna charge the car up, camp in the back, and I think it'll work fine for me on this trip. But let me know if you think it's, uh, again, like I said, let me know if you think this is good for you. And if you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more content related to all EVs, not just the Tesla right here. And uh, take care until next time.